Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Dean. Welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 6, from the New Living Translation, as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. Godliness guards the path of the blameless, but the evil are misled by sin. And the Passion Translation reads, Righteousness is like a shield of protection, guarding those who keep their integrity, but sin is the downfall of the wicked. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And I like how the two different translations say it in different ways. The one saying righteousness and the other one saying godliness. And you might say, well, these things are the same, but no, they're not family. You see, when we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, his righteousness becomes our righteousness. And it's physically impossible for us to grow in righteousness because it's physically impossible for us to be more righteous than Christ. So when we accept Christ is our Lord and Savior. We are made right with God. We are the righteousness of Christ Jesus, and it's physically impossible for us to grow in that. However, godliness refers to our holiness. It refers to our conduct, how we live out our lives. Even though we're the righteousness of Christ, we can still live our lives in a good or a bad manner, and we need to choose, obviously, to live it in a good manner, because when we choose to live it in a good manner, we choose to live a holy life, a life that is above reproach, a life that is full of godliness, as the scripture says. So when we are automatically the righteousness of Christ as we have received him as our personal and savior and continue to walk in godliness, we can walk in the fullness of the promise that's being spoken about in the scripture where it says there that the godliness guards the path of the blameless. It guards the path of those who walk right before the Lord, those who walk on the perfect path that God has for their lives. And as the Passion Translation says, it's like a shield of protection. Our righteousness as well as our godly conduct acts as a shield of protection for us, guarding those who keep their integrity, guarding those who keep their lives blameless. Because if we are walking in godliness, if we are walking in holiness, the fruit of the Spirit are manifesting in our lives. The character of Christ is evident in our lives. And when we are doing this, we will also be walking on the path that God has for our lives. And there's no better place to be than in the perfect will of God. And if we're in the perfect will of God, we're on the perfect path of God for our lives. And even though if we're on the path, Times of trial, tribulation, and difficult circumstances may sometimes come our way. But the fact of the matter is we're protected from these things, even though we may go through them because we're on the, the, the path that God has for our lives. And we can stand on the promise there that it, that we will be guarded, that we will be protected. And that it'll be a shield of protection around us, that the Lord will protect us as we go down this path in godly conduct, family, and on the perfect plan, will, purpose, and path that God has for our lives. It's a promise that we can stand on written in the word of God, but it's not the same for those who have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. If they haven't accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, they don't have the righteousness of Christ. Therefore, they can't access the promise here. Even though they might be conducting themselves in a godly manner or in a good manner, it doesn't necessarily say that they have God and it doesn't necessarily mean that they have a right standing with God because in order to gain right standing with God, we need to have Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. So even though they might be good by the world's definitions or by the, the, the world's standards, they might not be good by God's standards because to be good by God's standards means that we have to have Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. Therefore, if they don't have him as their personal Lord and Savior, their minds are clouded by sin and by the evils of this world and by the ways of this world because they don't have the Spirit of God living within them, leading them and guiding them and showing them onto the path that they need to be on to be protected. And consequently, they fall trapped to sin. And what happens, what does it say there when they fall trapped to the sin? It says there, they are misled by sin. So even though they might be striving to live a godly life, if they don't have God in their lives, sin's going to come and it's going to mislead them. It's going to lead them off of the path. It's going to lead them into the things of this world. It's going to lead them to worship false gods or to deny the very existence of God. And as the Passion Translation says there, but sin is the downfall of the wicked. So when these people that don't have God in their lives get misled, when they get led off of the path that God has for their life, they fall into sinful ways, they, they deny God or take up other gods and other false idols as their God. And consequently, as the Passion Translation says, it is their downfall. It will literally cause their downfall in this life and in the life to come, family, because we know that if we die without accepting Jesus Christ as our personal and Savior, we're not going to heaven. In other words, it's a, it's a very long way downfall 
for those who don't have Jesus Christ. So we must pray for these people, family. If we know people out there who are unsaved, even if they're good people, we need to pray for them, that they will come to know the Lord, that they will come to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, so that that goodness that they already have can be put on steroids as they receive the righteousness of Christ and as they start walking in godliness and start walking on the path that God has for their lives, because then sin won't mislead them and cause their downfall, and, and, and they'll stay on the, the path that God has for their lives, protected from the situation and circumstances of life as we are family so i want to encourage you going forward to choose godliness each and every day even though we're the righteousness of christ jesus choose godliness choose to walk a holy life before the lord because when we do this family we're protected from the various elements and everything that's going on around us even though we go through the storm we are protected from the storm and never allow sin to mislead you or to lead you off of the path that god has for lives if you if you slip up if you sin if you make a mistake be quick to repent be quick to return to the lord be quick to confess your sins and ask him to help you and to lead you and guide you and put you on that back on that path for that he has for your life so that you can walk in the fullness of the lord's protection the fullness of his blessings and the fullness of the perfect plan will purpose and path that he has for your lives thank you family i hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and before i end i'd just like to close in prayer father god we come to you in the name of your son jesus christ lord we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it lord we thank you for your word and the the promises in your word and the advice in your word lord i pray for each and every single person listening myself included lord i pray lord that you will help us to walk holy and godly lives before you lord help us to walk in a manner that is upright and christ-like lord so that we can do what is pleasing before you so that we can walk on the path that you have for our lives lord because we know that the path that you have for our lives everything that we truly need in this life is found on that path and the protection that we need in this life from the various storms and stuff that comes our way are found on that path lord help us to walk on that path help us to walk in your ways and help us to walk closely with you and in a manner that's pleasing to you and we give you alone all the praise the glory and the adoration for all that you're doing and accomplishing in us, through us, and for us as we continue to walk down the perfect path that you have for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.